What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I've had some requests from people on how to wire up the Peltier devices or the refrigerator unit or some of the other videos that I've made uh, using thermoelectric coolers or Peltier devices uh, like this. And so um, I'd, I'd like to do a little bit of a demonstration, kind of show you. I can't do a step by step because your situation is going to be different, but I'll kind of show you the basics of how you connect this. So we've got one of the Peltier devices that I built um, here. These two wires come from the Peltier that's sandwiched in between the unit. And you'll see this is another one right here. You've got the heat sink and fan, heat sink and fan, and then there's a Peltier device sandwiched in between them. So you won't be able to see it because the it's mounted on this refrigerator, but in between here is the Peltier device, and these are the two wires that come. Now in direct current wiring or DC wiring, you're only going to have to ever worry about two wires. There's a black and a red, or a positive and a negative. The negative is black, positive is red. Same with these fans. And like I showed in the other video, there's that, there's four wires, but these the blue and the yellow wire don't matter. They don't exist for our application. That, that's those are computer those are have to do with computers. So again, we just have a black wire and a red wire. Now I don't have a connector on this black wire right now, but that's what you need to do to wire these up is you need to take this the black wire, put a connector on it, connect it to the black or negative terminal of your battery or what whatever your power source is and do the same with the red wire it goes to the the positive side of the battery now if you have all kinds of wires like like we have in this setup if you've watched the refrigerator video you know that it's just a spaghetti mess of wires so we can't connect every wire to the terminals of a battery it it just won't work you got too many wires so in that case, you need to use a load center or some other combiner box that will allow you to combine all of the wires together and then send it to the battery. Now this is the part probably that's going to be complicated for most people. With a combiner box like this, what you're going to have is you're going to have power cables coming in and connecting to one of these positive terminals here. So the red you're gonna have red cables coming in, you know, a whole bunch of these these red wires will be snaking through inside here and will connect into one of these. And then you can cinch them down with with a screwdriver. The, the negative, the, there's a negative bus bar here, and obviously that's where your black wires will go. So you, this one I can put four red wires, I can actually put another one on one of these sides. But this will take uh, multiple connections, and that's how you need to do it if you've got multiple devices. Multiple connections. So then, you can take a breaker, and you can only, you can bring out one red wire out of your breaker from the box and then one black wire from your your bus bar here your negative bar and and you've essentially combined you know multiple red wires into one red wire here and multiple black wires into one black wire off of this now the reason I like to use a breaker or load center and, and breakers is because it adds a level of safety. You have a essentially an on-off switch here. You can shut uh, shut down the power very easily. It's also safe because this is a 20 amp. So if I accidentally draw more than 20 amps, if I have a short circuit somewhere, this is going to trip and it's going to protect my my devices from from uh, damage. So hopefully that helps. Um, helps you understand a little bit better about the wiring situation on this. It's pretty hairy. I next time I do a video of, of some kind of device like this, I'll do a little bit better of a step-by-step -step so you can see that, that part of the video. I apologize that I've kind of skimmed over that in the past. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. Thanks for watching.